how can you resist any film which includes this scene? Hey, everybody, we're all gonna get laid. <laughs> In 50 Films I Love, I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite comedies, the 1980 cult classic, Caddyshack. <laughs> Caddyshack is set in a snotty golf club called the Bushwood Country Club. The film is about Danny, a teenage caddy who's hoping to win the club scholarship so he can go to college. To facilitate this, Danny is unapologetically sucking up to the obnoxious president of the club, Judd Smales. Meanwhile, the judge is losing his mind over a deadly dancing gopher and a new entrant, Al Zervik, who is as rich as he is crass. Al calls the club a snobby crematorium. In one scene, he tells Mrs. Smales, you must have been something before electricity. Here's him letting loose at the club shop. This is the worst looking hat I ever saw. Well, you buy a hat like this, I bet you get a free bowl of soup, huh? Oh, it looks good on you, though. If Dangerfield doesn't do it for you, there's Chevy Chase playing the wealthy wise golfer Ty Webb, a man so evolved that he doesn't even keep score. And the clincher is Bill Murray as the assistant gameskeeper Carl, a man in mortal combat with the golf course destroying gopher. Many of Murray's iconic scenes were improvised. This one is a keeper. Ben Augusta, he's on his final hole. He's about 455 yards away. He's going to hit about a two iron, I think. Caddyshack was directed by National Lampoon alum Harold Ramis. Ramis co-wrote the film with other Lampoon writers, Douglas Kenny and Brian Doyle Murray, Bill Murray's older brother. These men weren't into plot. What they were going for is the funny bone. Every scene in Caddyshack is permeated by a loose, anarchic energy. The humor ranges from sight gags to the scatological. At one point, a bar of chocolate falls into the pool. Everyone mistakes it for shit, Mayhem ensues. Caddyshack celebrates the triumph of the underdogs, the eccentrics, and even the downright dangerous. The film tells you that the straight and narrow path does not lead to success and that being bonkers is a good thing. Even the gopher gets a happy ending. I love the madness in Caddyshack. You can find the film on YouTube. And if you want to know how it came together, apparently cocaine played a key role. Check out Chris Nashawati's book on the making. It's called Caddyshack, the making of a Hollywood Cinderella story. When you read the stories, what you see on screen will make even more sense. Check it out. For more recommendations like this, subscribe to Film Companion.